everyone is there a perfect 24 hour study schedule what is your suggestion can we make it well the two types of students again one of those who would just study study and study whatever happens there's a tsunami doesn't matter they will take your they, they will take their book and go out of tsunami and the second of students who are completely distracted they're distracted with everything around it distracted by whatsapp distracted by insta facebook twitter telegram and whatnot i was one of those students and i tried to just come out of it by a schedule that i should make for the exams and that schedule i'm trying, trying to share with you will help you maybe if you are the category b student like me then it may will help you to come out of that repeated scheduling that you make and are not able to follow it let's understand it why are we not able to actually cover our entire plan in a 24 hour maybe because we have planned in a way that is not suited for ourselves that means sometimes what we do we make a plan of 13 or 14 hours a day but we know in our heart that we cannot study it so what happens we make a 30 hour plan but ultimately what happens is we are able to read only for five to six hours and then we get demotivated we are not able to study the second day third day and then the entire plan fails so number one thumb rule is first make a plan that suits you not every student can study for 13 14 hours but even if you can study for seven or eight hours with full concentration i can tell you you are the perfect person who can get a rank second when do you feel a distraction in the evening time yes why because that is the time that your phone keeps on ringing and the moment your phone rings entire concentration gets here and what you say is oh there is a message and you need to reply to it right there is a video you need to watch to it when you come out of it in the evening time already one or two hours is gone and then comes a phase when you see a question on a telegram and that you're not able to answer while your friends are answering correctly oh my god what has happened so ensure one thing that you will not go to follow those questions which do you do not know and that too from telegram or any other group so one i was asked one question so i'm not able to answer a question while my friends are so what is happening to me the reason is don't worry about the friends worry about yourself you don't know the answer that's okay but is that question in syllabus and then you don't know the answer don't worry focus on what you know and do not focus on what you do not know because you have plenty of time right now to do that so let's plan something to make our life easier for entire 24 hours number one rule study at the time that you can't get distracted can you think of that time some students will say it's a late night and some would say early morning the problem is if i ask most of you 70 percent of students will say it's a late night that means only 30 percent are studying in the early morning so 70 percent of studying in the late night will surely get distracted by some of the messages here or there on telegram whatsapp insta whatever it is so my suggestion to you is wake up early in the morning and that time should be 5 a.m and when you wake up don't waste your time do not pick the phone it will just destroy your tempo when you wake up just go fresh freshen up and then you start studying from five to eight just take out that time guys six seven eight and that is how you get exact three hours out of that eight am this three hours is build the entire tempo of your entire day if it is possible for you take a break of this half an hour and then continue up to 10 o'clock this will bring the five hours of entire end at time and that will consider at least one third or at least one half of the entire study schedule which you have covered while your friends are sleeping and i tell you guys it will really change how you look into a preparation so study at the time when you don't get distracted and i feel that the minimum distraction occurs in the early morning rather than in the late evening or the late night so wake up early first rule second rule so after 10 p.m a.m what did you do have a light breakfast one more thing i should tell you is do not do not go for a heavy breakfast do not do that just take a light breakfast if you're having two chapatis go for one chapati if you're going for say uh five six rotis or chapati just decrease one or two the reason is the lesser you eat you're mildly more active and believe me glucose is enough in your body to provide it but the moment you eat more you feel fine so sleepy you actually try to sleep there but yes if you at all want to sleep sleep at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock one hour sleep and you get freshened up what do you do next so from that 11 o'clock just go to that two o'clock 
from 11 to 2 you again get that three hours of time and believe me your work is done five hours in the morning three hours in this afternoon and believe me guys this is the schedule that you want in the afternoon time again you may have a half or one hour sleep it depends you're not very close to the exam because exams happening in 2 2 p.m will again destroy your tempo so yes one or two weeks before the exam you can just change the evening siesta in the evening time if you want to go out you're surely you should go out yes but do not go out to the place where you need to get ready so you just spend so much time getting freshened up you just comb your hair so you wear that shoes and your pant and shirt and that will waste your time just go to the park why to get ready go to the park in a in a simple jeans and a simple uh, jockey or whatever you want to but that will just decrease your time in spending what to decrease your time spending just for getting ready for your friends talk to them speak to them about your heart and if possible revise a chapter that you have read in the morning but that for that for that you should have a friend who can actually study with you when you come back now you have the maximum distraction from 7 pm to 10 pm because now you are looking into whatsapp insta or a telegram you see a message in the telegram you see a question and you get distracted oh my god i don't know the answer am i right what is happening to me well i guess i tell you 90 percent of questions sent to me on telegram i do not have any clue what is the answer i search on a book and give you i do not know from where the question actually comes believe me those questions are only allowed to distract you just focus on what you know because you know that the last two year questions are more more than enough including the topics in and around it okay now what then so from that 7 pm to 9 pm just solve at least a few questions at least mcq if possible try to solve the mcqs with your friend and try to exclude the options one by one that will give a good idea of how to solve an mcq take a light dinner and go to sleep at 11 pm to wake up early early again at 5 am in the morning well this way you will at least be able to study for 12 hours but that is possible only when you give the morning time completely completely to study and you take out at five hours initially in the morning so that the entire day gets set up what more you can do well if your relationship the moment you go to sleep at 11 o'clock your boyfriend girlfriend spe speaks to you and say hello babu are you sleeping so I? and that again destroys the entire tempo just tell your friend boyfriend or girlfriend just tell them at this point of time I want only and only study. If you are true to her or she is true to you or he or she are true to themselves, you will never ever have that area where you actually go to a breakup. Just please understand me. Relationships can wait, but this time can't. So ensure that you are reading and studying with the entire education. If you want to study, if you want to study with them, study. But only study, do not waste your time. Because relationship may not be very good at this point of time. I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say here. Finally, when you have this in your hand, just have confidence. Believe me, if you're able to study for 10 to 12 hours a day with complete dedication, with a good plan that you have, that is what you need. Nothing more than this. You don't need anyone to guide you more. You just need to have the 10 to 12 hours a day and you will be through in the coming exams. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll give you just more inputs. Let me know what else you want and we'll meet again in a few days. Thank you. God bless you all. Stay healthy.